Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's a great pleasure to, to be here and a privilege to, to speak. Um, so they aren't able to be here, but we are pleased to report and to present yesterday a statement from the Australian Senate they unanimously supported um, in, in supporting the rights of the people in Camp Ashraf and Liberty. Uh, that's a step in the right direction, though I have to say we will be taking back to our parliamentary rep representations the, the, the model set by our Canadian cousins um, and into, as a way in which our government needs to head. Um, but I want to uh, focus my brief remarks today in, in terms of the, the notion of refugees and asylum seekers, which is most of our work. We work in over 25 countries, um, and it's clear that it can, the work that we do in Australia and in Geneva uh, is focused very much around the rights of refugees and asylum seekers as the people in Camp Liberty fit those definitions. They face daily persecution. They are unable to stay. They are unable to leave. So it seems to me, in, in a very simple way, that uh, all the nations of the planet who are signatories to the Refugee Convention have clear obligations here under international law to ensure that these people are moved quickly and safely to Camp Ashraf because the first obligation we have to refugees is to afford them protection, not to keep them in situations where the persecution can be maintained and increased. So we all have obligations, including our country, which was part of uh, the reconstruction, if you like, inverted commas, of what happened after the war in Iraq. Um, so clear obligations exist there. That's the first point I want to make. The second thing I wanted to say was how much we value our partnership with the PMOI. Um, frankly, we live at the end of the earth. Um, and the... <laughs> I'll argue with you later. Um, but I think, I think the significance of that is this, that your voice has extended to the end of the earth. Uh, from Europe, from North America, to the end of the earth. Uh, I was at a function re recently where the former president of Ireland, uh, Mary Robinson, said that Madame Rajavi, Mariam Rajavi, is the bravest woman on the planet. So, so we don't come here by accident. We come because we choose to come. Uh, and I've been coming here for a number of years, and the numbers have increased every year. The numbers will increase every year, because we live on a planet where there's been too much suffering, where there has not been enough courage. Uh, that's our challenge, our obligation. Uh, so we look to the day when the, the courageous call that you put to the world yesterday will be heard not just at the ends of the earth but across the planet. But all parliamentarians will respond, all peoples will respond and together we will gather for one of these family gatherings in Tehran, a free, independent, secular Tehran. Yeah.